If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today. I'm pretty much going to be recapping, going through the market and the prices, because guys, quite honestly, the market is done. Like, I know we've said this before, but no, the market has come crashing down. Like, it's over. This is the end of the market. Pretty much the only cards that will have value in this game will be freshly brand new release cards and they will have value for mere minutes to hours while they while people have to pull them from packs once they get on the block they're pretty much done for for the most part now guys obviously the reason they went down is probably a big part is the fan appreciation packs now i don't know how because i personally opened them and i trust me i did not pull anything to kill the market but people who spent money were able to open up up to like 25 total with coins and money per week so trust me a lot of people got there was quite a few of those who got pulled out you know pulled golden tickets pulled good stuff I may not have been one of them, but it has happened. Now, let's go check out these prices. Yesterday, I saw Randall Cunningham for 27 k So, they are coming back up a little bit. Um, in my opinion, guys, obviously, things coming up slightly isn't really coming up. You know, coming up 13,000 to 16,000 coins isn't really that much of a come up, especially when things are this cheap. In my opinion, things are just cheap. I, just, instead of trying to save 10 k just if you want a card, pick it up now. Of course, it's Sunday, and that is exactly why. Guys, if you wait, the best time to ever buy cards, of course, is on Fridays when fan appreciation packs are set. If they do are set again, that'd probably be when I go to buy some more cards. Now, I need to go get, I need to pick up some coins. I need to go sell everything I can sell at this point with everything being so dead. And guys, personally, at this point in the year, I don't really recommend you sell anymore. You're just losing coins, if you're, especially if they're older cards. Like if you had these cards for a while, don't even bother. Just hold on to them. Unless they're like 96, 95, so you're just not going to use in your team. But if it's a 98 that you picked up for like... 100k and now the 30k i mean is it really worth selling guys this is the time of the year no joke we're buying coins just the best option like because at this point like you can't just go ahead like it used to be you could just go take your mahomes i'll sell mahomes for like 500 to 700k and i'll build a team off of him now this is mahomes price mahomes is now let's say i don't even see him oh uh, whoops okay so let's go filter these out by quarterback so let's see where would mahomes be and mahomes is on a, on the better end of the spectrum let's say he's 220 that's that's not bad actually. He still has some value, but let's say you got you bought Vic, you bought Vic for like 600k. Now he's 120. So you used to be able to say like, oh, I'll just sell my Vic and I'll put him together. I'll take all those coins to build a whole team right now. But now he only goes for 120. You could barely pick up a few players with that, you know, worthwhile. So in my opinion, I really don't think that I would be going ahead and selling too much anymore. Which is why I haven't sold anything. Best thing you could do, like I said, is buy coins. And my sponsor, super cheap. Really recommend you guys go check them out. I I cannot believe how cheap the prices are. It's like 30 bucks for a whole million coins. And that's like just one or two game changer packs, like, or 10 buck packs. Like, especially if you use code, my code, a little extra 5% off. Make sure you use it, of course. And like I said to the other guy who did, if you do use the code on Twitter, DM it to me and I will follow you back. Already got a few people on that. But let's head on over to, I want to see the golden tickets per se. Now, golden tickets, guys, in my opinion, they're great and all. Some of them I don't like, but I think I've, I'd probably go ahead and start building some golden ticket squads. Now, I don't see everyone here, of course, if we're a quarterback. But there's a lot of good opportunity here to just build a golden ticket team. Now, on this Friday, Keith Bull is really not that bad. Really not that bad. Not a bad cheap one. Quincy New one's not bad. Cam's not bad. Bar's not bad. If I had to build a golden ticket team at all of these with these prices, I'd probably pick up Bullock. I'd probably pick up a new one wide receiver. Or I'd probably pick up Bar. Um, let's see. Let's see. I don't want them. I'd pick up Brian Dawkins, of course. I'd pick up Brian Burns. I'd pick up... Mm, not Vic, I kind of want Lamar. I pick up Ramsey, pick up White, Lamar, Maze, and Palomalo Bow. Like, those are the ones that I'd probably end up picking up, and they're so cheap at this point. Now, guys, what I recommend is if that one of these cards aren't that cheap, such as Bow right now, like Bow's expensive, what you could do is on Friday just buy Lamar for like 800,000 800, coins and then just use your free solo challenge golden ticket on um, Bow Jackson. That's probably what I'd end up doing. Now, as far as the market for the rest of the year, things aren't coming back up. Like I said, things will like progressively or you know just per day rise and blood drop like that's like on a daily basis like say sunday there's no content there's no pack things go up a little bit come next week and positional heroes drop things will go down now remember we do we should still have positional heroes we should still have as well a uh, blockbuster promo that we're hoping for ricky premieres loyalty now the thing that i really think you want to save coins up for by the way like don't just buy a whole team right now the things you want to save coins for are ricky premieres and loyalty because loyalty does transfer to next year Pretty much you do the loyalty stuff and you get tokens that you get into next year and you can use those for like in-game packs. It's nothing ever crazy, but it's always nice to have a head start into next year. And then there's also rookie premieres, which of course are transferable to next year. Going to be like 10 rookie players. Now to the ones that they're, who they're going to give us. Not entirely sure, but this year 
specifically since I have a lot more coins and everything, I probably will go ahead and pick up all 10 of the Rookie Premier players. Now, Rookie Premier is really worth this shit. Let's go check them out real quick just so you guys know what you're looking at because, of course, with everything being so cheap right now and people tempted to buy something, just letting you guys know, definitely, definitely save some of your coins so you guys have an idea. So these are Rookie Premiers. This is what I ended up with for the whole year. Now, what was useful? Was Nick Bosa ever useful? No. They never gave him good stats. And these dropped, they stopped in February, so don't really compare it to now. I'll tell you who was useful. Devin Bush was super useful. Only one. He got decent upgrades. He was always super fast. Always good user linebacker. I really liked him. Chris Lindstrom, by the time he got an upgrade, there were better linemen already. And his stats weren't that great to begin with. Uh, Quinn Williams was never great. Never really got so many upgrades. Kyler Murray wasn't great because a quarterback that's fast needs escape artist, and he could not get escape artist until the point where he wasn't useful anymore. So in my opinion, oh no, actually no, I, I apologize. He can't get abilities at all, or he can, he can get one now. But at this point, it wasn't even matter. And I believe could he get escape artist? Yeah, he couldn't get escape artist. It needs a 99 overall to get in this first spot. He only they only got the one spot. It, it was literally useless for most of the year. So hopefully they do revamp these rookie premieres for next year, where they can actually get abilities and they you know good abilities and they do the whole thing. Because if we don't get all that. It's not as worth it, but I still recommend you do it because they're getting better with it every year. Hopefully by next year we get some better stuff. And they're a little bit more useful than they have been. And now going over to the packs from uh, in terms of the market here. Guys, do not open up Ultimate Legend packs. I don't know how much more to tell you this. The players, you could open up one Ultimate Legend pack. You could pull Randall Cunningham and Michael Vick in the same pack and still lose coins. No joke. Two full Ultimate Legend 99s or 198, 199, whatever. And still is good. I do not recommend you open up these packs at all until they bring these down. EA hopefully will listen if people stop opening them. They should drop these. These are no joke. They should be dropped to about 50k, 60k. It doesn't make sense. Their their pull rate of 97 plus is an 8.8, .8, and they're 180k. This pull rate of 98 is 14. Let's listen to that. 14 percent. 97 is eight. So they have a. This pack has a better chance of pulling a higher overall player. This one has a lower chance of pulling a lower overall player, and it is triple almost. Oh, well, it, I'll say, let's call it two and a half. It's two and a half times more expensive. I do not recommend you ever go this route, the Ultimate Legend Packs. These are what kill the market because they're good value. And at this point, the market's dead. So you really can't get any value out of these Ultimate Legend Packs. These were bad values when things were expensive. Now, specifically now, horrible value. Do not recommend you go ahead and pick up these packs. Fan appreciation. Hopefully those reload again on Friday. And we can go try our luck for golden tickets again. But I really don't know if we're going to be pulling any of that stuff. Now, for the rest of the year, nothing's coming back up. That's it. Don't expect much. Like I said, I have cards in my binder, and things just aren't going to be selling the way it is. And guys, as far as that giveaway that I did like a week or so ago, I have to still give away those cards. There were so many comments. I've been a little busy. got to get through everything, write them down, remember what was what. i got to go through everything, but I will do it. Don't worry. But like I was saying, guys, things just don't go for too much here. Like Michael Vick, I really just, it's hard, like 101. It's very hard right now to put together a decent assembly of things to sell and coins overall. So like I said, I really wouldn't be selling too much anymore. It's either you buy or you open the packs, but like just selling, it's like selling, like I remember back when you could just sell like a Dion and a Jalen Ramsey, get back a million coins and go pick up a team, like it just doesn't work like that anymore, and it won't for the rest of the year, so don't don't expect that to change, it's kind of in the end game here. Now if you guys just see the Madden release date, we do have, so it appears August 25th of this Madden, so markets and end game, we got at least three more months, so you're going to have to make do somehow, as far as coins go, and it will not be from selling, so you're going to have to be earning it through week and league. Other stuff, I mean, maybe, if, I haven't played Weekend League in a while. I don't know how competitive it is, but it could be easier, it could be harder. I'd imagine it's harder now, so coins going to be a little bit hard to come by at this point in the year. But it is possible. Like I said, I mean, I'm pretty content with my team at this point. Obviously, I want golden tickets, but I'm just waiting for those to drop to crazy low prices. And that's when I will go in and try to pick some of those guys up. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Remember, buy your team, but don't spend all your coins. Save some for Rick Premier and Loyalty, because transferable always a good idea to get that head start but guys that's about it for the video hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you aren't to the channel make sure to down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification boys come join the family make sure to do a big thumbs up if you haven't already comment down below let me know let me know what you guys are doing with your coins right now like i said personally i got 156k that is not enough i'm gonna have to get to, gonna have to get it somehow i'll probably end up quick selling my mahomes that i still have right here because he is quick sellable and i have two of them that's kind of been my backup contingency plan for coins so that's probably what i will be doing very, very soon for those packs on Friday, which does suck to sell 99 to pull cards that won't even get me 99. But I gotta try somehow. Still have not pulled a single 99 all year. It is what it is. But, guys, things will get cheaper. 
if you don't if you haven't seen every fan appreciation Friday, things just get progressively cheaper. So make sure you know if you are gonna buy things, your whole team and everything, don't do it now. Don't do it today. Wait till Friday. If, even if it's only 10, 13k, I know I said you could just pick it up. If you're gonna pick up one card, one card, pick it up whenever. I mean, 13 whatever k isn't that big of a deal. But if you're gonna buy a team, 13k over 20, 30 cards could really add up. Guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you later. Peace.